All right, welcome back. In this session, I'm gonna be showing you a new mate feature called the hinge mate. Okay, so this exercise is called hinge mate. So I already saved the file as well in your files folder. So if you wanna open it up and play around with the hinge mate after we're done, so you can understand a little bit more of what I did. Now, what is a hinge mate? A hinge mate allows you to use multiple mates in one little section, which is a hinge mate. And I'll show you what that means in a little bit. So this is a pliers that we have in front of us. We got pliers, but they're separated. As you can see, those are two separate handles. Well, if you would normally want to make these together, what would you do? The first thing you would probably do is you want to make these two circles concentric. And then you want to make the, this surface right here probably with the surface coincident. And then you would probably want to add a limit mate between this surface and this surface right here to allow a certain amount of degree of rotation, right? Well, what if we want to do all of these in one section? Okay, so whenever you got something like pliers, for example, or doors, that's when a hinge is uh, very useful. So to get to your hinge, you want to click on mate. Scroll down over here under mechanical mate and click on that. Scroll up and you'll see your hinge mate over here. As you can see, it's got a little nice graphic of, you know, what kind of stuff you should be doing or uh, clicking on. So basically, it's, it's anything that operates like a hinge. If you know what a hinge is, it opens up, you know, usually it opens up a certain amount of degrees and uh, it uses three different mates to, c to connect uh, the part together. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, this is a concentric mate. So you can click on that. Let's go ahead and click on this circle and the circle right here. Now for my coincident, I want to click on this surface and then this surface right here. Okay. Now, as you can see, it says this component cannot be moved to a position which satisfies this mate. Planar faces are not coincident. Separate distance is 0.76. Now that's because there's a distance between here and here because I selected the edges. Let's go ahead and delete the edges. Okay. And let's select the inside of the circle instead. Okay. So the cylinder, as you can see, now it lines them up better. Okay. So now that we have that done, let's go ahead and click on OK so I can show you something real quick. So now that I have that done, this is my fixed part. So this handle is my fixed handle. But then this one is my rotational handle. If you can tell, I can rotate this handle as much as I want back and forth. Well, what if I want to put a limit on it? Well, that's actually part of your hinge. So go back to your edit features for the hinge and click on specify angle limit. Now specify angle limit allows you to uh, select two uh, either surfaces or sketch or, or edges and specify a angle in between them. So let's go ahead and select this surface and this surface. As you can see, it rotates it. So this right here, the first one, the angle, is basically the location where it starts. So let's go ahead and select 180 degrees. It's just because 180 degrees signifies where I want it to start. Okay? So for the second one, allows you to, it gives you basically, you want to specify how many degrees away from here is going to be your maximum or where it stops. For example, if this is 180 degrees, what if I want it to basically open up until it's at 120 degrees, okay? So this is always going to be 180 degrees, but if you specify the that it, what you want it to move 60 degrees, for example, from 180 degrees, because let's say 180 degrees is where you want it to be at, at one position, which is the open position or the maximum value. Well, let's go ahead and select the minimum value to be 120. So if you want it 60 degrees, if you wanted this to open up 60 degrees from uh, this uh, end, you want to make sure that you minus 60 degrees off the maximum value. So don't get that confused. These act as a whole 360 degree um, values. So this is a location and it uses 360 degrees. So if I specify this as 360 this actually spins 360 degrees if I go back to 180 it's just the location of it okay so this maximum value I want it to be the same as it is right now and the minimum value I want it 60 degrees away from the maximum value that's why I specify 120 because 180 minus 60 is 120 let's go ahead and click on okay and let's see what happens and as you can see I can only rotate it between this and that it stops as soon as I get to my limit Okay, and if you actually click on your hinge, it will help show you the hinge settings over here. Now, this is just where the location of it is. So if I go like this, if I go back to my hinge, you can select it. You can actually double click on it and change settings from here. As you can see, I double click the 180. If I double click the 120, you can also change that in here as well. And as you can see, what happens is the limit 
opens up and that's where you set your limit as you can also this is what i meant by setting this as a limit mate because it uses a concentric coincident and a limit mate to um, create your values now if you do change any of the values you're going to see that the update uh, feature is here the the icon which is the same as over here which is the rebuild and you can rebuild it if you want to change your values but we kept them the same like that there you go and that's how you use the hinge feature mate in SOLIDWORKS.